I've read in interviews that you talk about how you're very shy, and for such a, a terrific actor, you get shy sometimes when the attention is on you. For example, you hate it when people sing happy birthday to you. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> I actually relate to that. I, I don't love... I don't really? I don't love it either. Uh, yeah, I don't love it either. I don't like praise for something that I didn't have anything to do with. <laughs> that's not a joke. Exactly. I really do feel like people are happy. But, and what are you you're supposed yeah. to just stand there and go, yes, I survived. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you hate it when people give you that kind of attention. Yeah, like when you wrap a film, they announce it. And everyone starts clapping. And I always, I hate it. I always get turn bright red. And I just get really embarrassed. Because they don't do it for everyone. They don't do it for the crew. They don't. So I just always feel like really weird about it. Right, because they're singling you out in a way. Yeah, they should sing happy birthday to the parents, to my parents. Yes, because yeah. they're the ones that actually did something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're very shy, but you, were, you tried bartending for a while. And, and you yeah. seemed like, to be a bartender, you, you need to really be able to deal with a lot of strangers. And how, how could you have done that? I don't know. One of my friends was going to the school, and so I, it sounded like fun. Yeah. And so I went, and then I got my little bartending license. And then I got a job, and I didn't realize that, like, you know, people always want the bartender to drink with them. And I can have, like, two drinks, and then I'm just blacked out. Right. And so I was like, you know, and I'm, again, I'm very shy, so it was, I was just drunk, and it was just bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you were just passed out behind the bar. Yeah, I don't Maybe even 45 really, minutes into your first... I don't even really remember. I was shocked, because when I first uh, saw you, it was in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and you were so good in that, that I was convinced, because your character's Swedish, I was convinced that you're a Swedish... <laughs> Actress. I get that sometimes. And then I found out that you're not, and I, I couldn't believe it, because you really <laughs> sold me on that idea that you're Swedish. Do you believe it now? I still believe it. I think you're <laughs> Swedish, and you're fooling me right now. I also believe, by watching that movie, you kick so much ass in that movie that you're an amazing fighter. They must have, they must have taught you a lot of cool stuff for that movie. I did. I did a lot of kickboxing mm -hmm. um, and some jujitsu. Right. But I, I, I forgot all the jujitsu. I can't do any of that anymore. You mean you forgot it? You like, just... I would learn a move like, that would like, put you out in five seconds. And put, then I... me, you put me out? <laughs> really? Yeah, like a move that could like, put anyone out. And then I would get home and I would have already forgotten it. So the, for some reason, I couldn't retain the jujitsu. You probably shouldn't tell people that. You should just <laughs> let people see the movie and think you're just this incredible no, I badass. Can still, I can still hurt someone, you just can? not with jujitsu. Okay, when was the last time that you've actually used it in real life? Have you used it at all in real life, your moves? Um, not really. At my best friend's wedding, this uh, one of the, her. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I was walking down an alley <laughs> and you're like, yeah, oh yeah, I used it at my best friend's <laughs> wedding. <laughs> I killed the priest. Um, it was her, her, her now her husband, her, her, his friend was very drunk and he was like trying to get me to dance, mm -hmm. which is basically like being in an alley for me and having someone steal my purse. Yeah. He was like trying to get me to dance and he picked me up. Oh. And I didn't, we had just finished shooting. I it really, I don't know how it happened, but I just like put my hands on his throat. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I just woke up and the police were asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Um, you know, now in uh, the books, A Girl in the Dragon Tattoo is based on the books by Stieg Larsson. Mm -hmm. And in those books, your character, Elizabeth, is a redhead. Yes. But you guys didn't go that way in the movie so much. Well, no, she's a redhead, but she dyes her hair black. Right. Yes, which is, yeah, was very important to me because I was a follower of the books. And you so wanted to be true to the books. Yes, but obviously there's no way to really depict that in a movie except that um, I had to wear a merkin. Do you know what a merkin is? Andy knows oh, all this stuff. Oh, I know what a merkin is. A mer one of, uh, oh, yeah, I do know what a merkin is. A merkin is kind of a, a wig for, for down below. Yes. yes? It's, a, it's a wig for your lady bits. <laughs> this interview's over. Uh, so you wore one of those for that movie. Yeah, I mean, they didn't, they didn't ask me to, but I'm naked so much in it, I wanted one. Because it felt like a little fur bikini. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I, I had I'm feeling like such a perv now. <laughs> no, <laughs> Tell me more about the fur bikini. No. It was, Whee! Uh, it was my God. really cute. It was a cute little fur bikini, and I had them make it strawberry blonde. Oh, uh, 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, is that something that you that you give that back when you're done, or do you? No, I have it. You have it. Yeah, okay. I have it. Okay, that's good. You want to keep that. <laughs> A lot of creeps on eBay. <laughs>